Hey guys, Akshayan here, and today's going to be a guide to how to do a Raxer with Tier 80 Power Armor and Tier 80 Weapons to unlock the Tier 90 Power Armor Unlock Upgrade from that Dwarf Girl. Uh, believe it or not, I already made a video like this, but I forgot an important item, aka this Greater Insult Cloth, so we're not going to do that this time. So, fun fact. Uh, I won't be using Orc Relics or Dimension Perks for this entire video, it's just plain armor. Uh... If they make this easier, if you're struggling at all, you can do the tank armor, and you don't even need to make the tank armor, but if you do the tier 90 uh, tank armor set, you can make tier 90 weapons, which would help a lot. Um, I won't be using overloads, but if you have overloads, obviously use them. Uh, I I'm using an extreme necromancy, defense, magic, and that's it. Uh, I also highly recommend doing the unlocks at the ritual. You need 8,500 souls to get all the unlocks available with talent points. Because a very important ability that we're going to be using is Darkness. Darkness gives you 20% dodge chance for, for 12 minutes. It's very strong and has a lot of tankiness. So yeah, definitely do that. You don't need it, but again, it is helpful. And it's pretty fast if you do Spirit Mementos with a bunch of Multiply 3s. No, sorry, Multiply 2s. And yeah, that should be just very fast to unlock. And talent points are very fast unlock early on especially so it should be no problem at all um of uh, tier 95 prayers so tempo assistance and requirement and also tier 95 prayer which is 95 prayer requirement however it's only like 33 mil if you do infernal ashes at four frenchy or uh, someone's player owned house uh you can also do dragon bones with burial powder for but it costs like 80 mil so up to you on how you want to do that but again 32 mil is very cheap Especially since you're destroying War Priest armor for this. And, you know, by, by the way, reminder, use Multiply 3 when making War Priest armor to get more greater installed cloth. It's a lot cheaper, okay? Not a lot of people know that. But again, Multiply 3, as long as it's a whole number, like 300%, it'll give you 3 greater installed cloth. Very important to know that. Um, we're going to be using a lesser bone shield. It's very cheap. You could use greater bone shield, but when you use defensive such as reflect and immortality and barricade, it will, you know, it just costs a lot. Right now it costs a lot, so we're going to be using lesser bone shield. Um, what else? So, again, let's just talk about our inventory. It's just the tier 80 power armor and tier 80 weapons. Nothing really special about that. Any ring. I have luck at dwarves, but if you don't have luck at dwarves, don't worry about it. Just put anything or nothing. It honestly doesn't matter that much. I at least have an Amulet of Souls. Amulet of Souls is extremely powerful for doing any bosses in the game. Essence of Finality is the best Amulet, but it's not that much better for what we're doing. A 99 Defense Cape is nice because it gives you, if you die, you come back to life for, and it works every hour. So, very nice. If you don't have a port, don't worry about it because we're not relying on dying as a tactic in this. Uh, Illuminate Book of War is really good for uh, lowering the boss's defense so you can hit more. So it's very good and very cheap. It's like 10k an hour. So definitely get this. It requires the Lighthouse quest. Uh, inventory, three restores. Power Burst Vitality if you ever feel like you're dying. Blubber Fish to heal. Runes to cast spells. Ectoplasm. Pervernal and Anti-Poison. Plus plus. Extreme Necropancy. Uh, extreme Defense and Extreme Magic. Again, if you have overloads, use overloads. Um, the reason we're using Defense and Magic is because Defense obviously gets your defense up. And magic actually makes magic attacks less likely to hurt you, so very nice. Expensive spices also makes blubberfish heal more. You don't have to use blubberfish; you can use any food. But I like blubberfish because there's passive healing. Uh, if you have blue blue, blue blubberfish, are like 15k each, so I don't advise using those. Araxi pheromone to get the ranged araxer, which is the easiest araxer, and dragon longs to spawn it. Greater install cloth. You need this cloth because after we kill Araxi, you need to use this on the body. Okay, so this, do not forget the greater install cloth. I forgot this in my last video. I literally did the whole video and I forgot it. And I didn't want to make a video like that. And I don't edit. So, oof. Uh, and penance powder. So, again, uh, put your book on and we're going to go to Wars Retreat and quickly bonfire. And you can go to bonfire. If you have HP boosting gear, such as a shield, you'll get more HP. And the other optional thing is you can go to Oolog. And there is... So, that... You know, you know, I'm just going to walk there, guys, okay? I don't really care. But there's a pool here, and I believe you need to do this quest for Tempo of Sistinston anyway. So, whenever you do this quest, which is admittedly a bit of an annoying quest, a little bit, because the wiki doesn't really explain it too well is this pool will give you an additional 297 HP. So it's pretty darn good. 
we're not dying. So all you need to do is just go in it and hop out. And, um, yeah, besides that, uh, you probably just want to go to a bank. Like, let's just let's go to, uh, I don't know, Wars Retreat. And drink an Extreme Defense, Extreme Magic, Pervernal, Penance Powder on, Extreme Necromancy, and Anti-Poison Plus Plus. I will say, I won't use that Extreme Necromancy because I'm 119 Necromancy, and I don't want to have the, a, a huge advantage over people. But again, that is also why I'm not using Augmented Gear. Augmented Gear will help you a lot, so yeah, definitely do that if you can. So, again, you can bank that stuff after you drink a dose, and then get a bunch of green blubberfish. To get to a Raxer, you need to go to Canopus Lodestone. And we're just going to run there. And I really hope I'm not forgetting anything this video, because that was kind of awful, you know? It was, it was such a nice kill. So, when you do a Raxer for the first time, every single day, it has zero in rage, so it should be very easy. This might be a little bit harder for me, because I think it'll be like 20 in rage. But, it, it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, so you should have no issues. Like, if it looks a little bit harder on my end, it, it, it's not that hard. It, it's easier than what I'm going to be doing. Um, yeah, so at this point, you can cast Darkness, which is the... What is it even called? I think it's called the Aspect, yeah. So, cast Darkness. And where's the Raxor's Cave? That's over here. So here's the Raxor's Cave. A lot of people probably don't even know where this cave is, honestly. Some guy over here. Wow. He's ranger in it. What a beast. So, instance encounter. You want to click uh, start instance. I'm just going to click rejoin because I already made an instance. Put your prayer on. Put your main hand dragon longsword on. Go down. Uh, th this is the hardest week, but yo, this is the best to explain mechanics. Again, it changes depending on the week, so you can look. But we're, we're doing the top path to, just to explain things better. Burn the web, put back on your death guard. A Raxor should spawn as a ranged. If you don't have a, a pheromone, don't worry, because zero and rage doesn't really matter in terms of mechanics. So just attack, you can cast anticipation whenever. It did this little shield. If it does a shield, you can stay off it. I'm going to use bloat here and resonance. This was a, a little poison that uh, I can tank a little bit, because you don't want a Raxor to heal too much. Uh, if you want to heal, uh, you can just summon one, like maybe like, a Vengeful Spirit and have it uh, just attack. I'm going to cast Freedom here because I don't want to get grabbed or anything. Oh, it did a web, so just click on the ground and you'll break through the web. You're fine. You just want to be careful about Reflect, because when it does that web attack, you just don't want to hurt yourself. And we're going to enhance the Spirit. Oh, it grabbed me. Walk away. Two squares, and you're fine. And, yep, yeah, we're, just, we're just attacking it. Nothing special. Anticipate, because it can't use the same ability twice, so it's either going to cocoon me, or it's going to reflect, so we'll see. I'm going to uh, load it into reflect, and then just resonance. Reflect doesn't actually uh, help too much, but resonance does, so I'm waiting. Attack. Just get his HP down. And there we go, we're done. So you run away, and that's good. So right when his HP goes back to 100,000 like that, it's next phase. He's going to spawn minions, so you want to blow up these eggs whenever. Don't use defenses when these eggs are up. I'm going to summon a spirit. Why am I summoning a spirit? I like the passive healing the spirit gives. I debilitate, anticipate, because if you summon a, uh, a skeleton, it's going to hurt you a lot. So again, he summoned, when you see the spires go over, don't attack a Raxor anymore. Because there might be a reflecting spider. The mirror back spider is a spider you need to kill. Kill that instantly. Instead, you get even cast devotion here and get a lot of I don't know defensive capabilities. It did the egg, so we're just gonna attack. Bloat. Bloat's a very strong ability. Always use bloat every like 20 seconds or so. I'm gonna just double finger death kiss. Boom boom boom. Debility. Below. Oh, oh, so this is fine because it's low in rage. It did the, the so I'm going to get reflect 176. Again, at low in rage, the mirror back shouldn't kill you. And you don't have like high tier weapons. So, you again, if that happens, don't worry. Just don't use like finger or death or something during the reflect, which would be really bad. Those are dead. Just go to the eggs. Oh, we just eat a little bit of food. We're just going to keep DPSing our Raxer. Anticipate. Just, just wait for mechanics to happen. 
Oh, it did the spiders. Rear back spider. Attack. Attack. At that point, we are free to attack anything. Devotion. Eat up the blubbers. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And it spawns this. These eggs. You get to go under a Raxer. Might melee you, which is okay. But again, not the best. I'm going to anticipate here. We only need to do a little bit more damage. So, instant kill should proc right now. So, eh? Oh, I, I, it only proc. Again, the armor has a chance to proc it, so it won't always proc. So, we're looking for the spiders that spawned. It might be a healing spider, not even a mirror back spider. We're just kind of just waiting. I'm going to cast Barricade here. This sort of defenses. Again, defenses are really good, especially when like you're like, hmm, what am I should, should be doing? Go over here. Attack. And we're going to do a volley of souls. Anticipate, and what's gonna do? There's no more spiders. There's no more. Oh, it did this. I got cocooned. That's fine. I broke three. Surge this way, and just run over here. Drink your anti poison, and we're gonna enter right in what? Yeah, stage three. So we're at stage three now, which is good. We're gonna summon the spirit. I'm going to summon a skeleton too. I might be a little bit risky, but we'll see. I'm going to summon my other spear too and uh, buff him. So we're going to attack a Raxer. Castle Reflect. And just chill out here. There's a spider. Don't worry about those. You could lure those, but um, luring. I'm going to use a Death Skulls here too. You could lure those, but it helps only slightly and it can be kind of a pain in the ass. So we're not going to really bother with that. It pulled me. Just walk away too and you're fine. Drink some. Uh, Restores, debilitate when your uh, reflex down. Don't he might do a reflex? So wait a second, anticipate. Oh, he spawned a spider. He won't do a special now for a little bit. So big damage on him. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, and he got face. Great. So this is good. Um, if this is your first time like killing a Raxer, uh, there, you can't actually skip this cutscene. So I won't do anything right now. So you'll be stuck in a cutscene right now. So yep. I kind of wait. You're, you're, you'd be watching some cutscene with this spider eating, and you have zero adren, I think. So, yeah, you just attack. You want to build your adren, cast resonance. So, uh, mage prayer when he's shooting the 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 magic. Oh, two hits. Oh, he's grabbed me. I put on my range prayer though. Oh, mage hit. Dip, uh, we're gonna debilitate in a second. Debilitate. Anticipate in case it cocoons me. And we're going to summon some spirits now. Skeleton and the other one. We're going to buff our uh, other spirit as well. So we have a lot of bonus damage. I'm going to Omni Power a little bit. Mage Prayer. I'm going to cast Residence. Oh, it's fine. Oh, I got grabbed. That's fine. If you get hit, it's only like a 3k. It's not a big deal. Keep hitting. Oh, a Raxer is at 50k HP. So now it's in Rage. So at this point, again, you can cast Reflect. Keep on trying to perfect as you go. Mage Prey, Mage Prey, Mage Prey. And try to do Death Skulls right now. And, I mean, it probably doesn't matter. Just Omni Power, like Volley of Souls, and it should just be dead. And that's all it really is. It As long as you do, like, Debilitate and Reflect, and s don't use them at the same time, cycle through them. So, to Reflect, wait 10 seconds, then Debilitate. And as long as you cycle through them, you should be relatively fine. Uh, I, I, I didn't do anything special there. Once it's dead, use the Greater Cloth on Araxor's body. Use Smother and Soul Cloth and the Dripping Green Venom. So now it's Venomous Greater Installed Cloth. A piece of fabric imbued with underworld energy and dripping in spider venom. And that's all it took. And we got some garbage. I got a Raxite Firm on my first kill. And that's all it is. And then after that, we have the, the Venomous Cloth. Then you can leave. And that's all there is. Um, again, next is going to be Talos and Ambassador. So I'm going to do those right away. But I will be uploading them a day apart. So, yeah, if you liked it, you know, tell me. Again, very simple. Nothing, nothing special about what I did. Uh, if you have perks, it helps. So, I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.